X locked us into another room again. Looks like we have a communication problem. Let's try to break down these walls. Communication problem? What is he even talking about? Well, we did all just split up. Then why don't we actually try listening to each other rather than opening our mouths? I don't want to listen to anyone. None of this makes sense to me. Why are we're all open enough with each other to know that our best interest was to split up. Was it really? Because we all ended up in the same spot. Tony, I think he's got a point. Look, I learned about this in my management class, and I think we need to improve the way we communicate, verbally and non-verbally. I mean, look at Chris. He looks visibly scared. I never thought about what Chris was going through. I'm sorry, Chris. It's okay, Tony. It's not your fault that we ended up in the situation that we did. I think that our ultimate goal in this is to find Brett, and I think we'll do our best working together instead of splitting up. I guess you're right. Do you need my help? Tell nobody. What was that? Oh, nothing. Let's focus. What do you want me... Wait, what do you want, and what do I get out of this? What... Oh... What will it take for me to be a member of the spook? Tell me that, and I'll let you out. Hey guys, since we're stuck in here, random question. How did you guys get into the club? Well, I mean, it was pretty basic. Why do we care about that right now, anyway? Just answer the question, trust me. I applied and I met the qualifications. What else is there to it? I think you should be more specific. Okay, well, I have a current GPA of 3.8, and I'm the president of the debate team. Guys, why aren't we focusing on finding Brett? Shh, this is going to help. Fine, this is good enough for now. I'll let you guys out this time. Good luck finding Brett, though. It's a miracle! <laughs> yeah.